Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror film, The Sand. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. A group of friends party on a beach. The party is wild. People are making keg stands and drinking lots and lots of alcohol. The cameraman approaches Kaylee. He offers her a drink, but she refuses. When she sees her boyfriend named Playboy cheating on her by kissing Playgirl, she changes her mind and downs the drink in one gulp. Mitch, a member of the group, confiscates everyone's cell phones so that no shameful photos or videos get shared online. Ms. Die first is provoked by the men to show her breasts to the camera. The party rages on. Later that evening, Fatty and Mr. Die second find a strange, large gooey ball on the beach and bring it to the party. The group continues partying until everyone falls asleep. The next morning, Kaylee wakes up beside Mitch in a lifeguard shack. She exits the shack and sees Playboy sleeping in the car next to Playgirl. Playboy wakes up and kisses Playgirl. Mr. Die second and his girlfriend Ronnie wake up. They wake up Ms. Die first, who is sleeping topless on top of a beach table. Ms. Die first throws up. Meanwhile, Kaylee notices a bird on the sand, trying to fly away, but it can't. She realizes that the bird is stuck on the sand. She calls out to Ms. Die first and warns her not to touch the sand. However, Ms. Die first doesn't listen. She gets up from the table and stands up in the sand. Almost immediately, her foot gets stuck. She tries to pull it out, but she can't. Suddenly, she screams out in pain. Mr. Die second runs out of the car to try and help Ms. Die first, but also gets stuck in the sand. He falls face first into the sand and screams in agony. Playboy tries to pick him up with the car, but the engine won't turn on. Mitch finds a rope in the shack and throws it to Mr. Die second. However, this happens all too late. Mr. Die second starts sinking into the sand. The sand even rips half of his face off. His eyeball falls out and the sand devours him. The group panics and argues over what just happened. They decide to call for help, but remember that their phones are all locked in the car's trunk. Kaylee walks to the sand, but Mitch stops her. She reassures them that she won't go into the sand. When she hovers her hand over the sand, small white tendrils emerge from the sand and follow Kaylee's hand. Meanwhile, Fatty wakes up with his fat muscles jammed upright in a skinny barrel. He panics and tries to escape, but the group tells him not to move. Fatty learns that there is something in the sand and that Ms. Die first and Mr. Die second are both dead. Mitch tells Fatty that he has to wait for two hours until the tide rolls in before he can move. The group tries to relax and take a breather. Mitch finds a bottle of vodka in the shack and drinks with Kaylee. Kaylee asks him why he lied to Fatty about the tide coming in. He says that either way, Fatty is screwed. In the car, Ronnie writes in a notebook to pass the time. Kaylee looks for supplies in the shack and finds matches. She puts the matches in her pocket and asks Mitch what happened last night. Together, the two try to remember what happened last night that suddenly made the sand dangerous and deadly. While talking, Kaylee finds some sunblock and gives it to the group in the car. She asks them why the beach suddenly became dangerous. They remember everyone from the party and dreadfully realize that everyone from the party became victims of the killer sand. This causes Fatty to break down. The heat suddenly becomes unbearable for him and he tries to escape. Playboy calms his fat muscles down and throws him the sunblock. Kaylee notices that the strange gooey ball from last night has split into two. She figures out that it must be an egg and that it must have hatched when they were all asleep. The monster that has hatched is now under the sand. Kaylee gets an idea. She finds a couple of sausages in the cooler and throws one out onto the sand. The monster devours the sausage shortly after. She throws another sausage farther to see if the monster is big enough to reach it. The monster devours it once more. Ronnie gets upset that she is wasting their only food. Mitch throws another sausage, but a passing bird steals it out of the air. The bird lands in front of Fatty, seeming to taunt his awkward situation while eating the skinny sausage, but soon it gets devoured by the sand. Fatty watches as the helpless bird disappears into the sand. Mitch throws another sausage in a different direction. This time, the sausage stays on top of the sand, meaning that the monster can't reach that area. Unfortunately, they have no way to go there without touching the sand. Playgirl tells them all to wait for help, but Ronnie reminds her that it's been hours now and no one has arrived. She says that if all the beaches nearby are killer beaches too, then no one will come to rescue them. Playboy gets impatient and grabs the surfboards from the car. He places them on top of the sand as a makeshift bridge and crosses the sand. When he picks up the other surfboard, Kaylee reminds him to be careful as the tendrils might grab his fingers. He manages to pick it up safely and continues traversing the sand. Suddenly, Playboy talks to Kaylee about her sleeping with Mitch. Mitch tries to clear up the confusion, but tells Playboy that now is not the time for this. Mitch walks away, and Playboy continues walking on his surfboard bridge. While trying to transfer over to the beach table, the board suddenly moves. 
Playgirl and Ronnie notice that the tendrils in the sand are trying to move the board, so that Playboy falls into the sand. The tendrils reach Playboy's stomach and injure him, but fortunately, his smelly sausage gets spared. He manages to power through and get on top of the platform. The tendrils leave a wound on Playboy's stomach. His heartbeat slows down, and he lies perfectly still. After a few moments, Playboy wakes up. He looks through Playgirl's bag on the table and finds a banana. He accidentally drops the banana and immediately picks it back up. Suddenly, Playboy gets an epiphany. He jumps onto the sand, and the tendrils don't touch him. However, the rest of the group get terrified while looking at Playboy. They notice that the wounds on his stomach are oozing and bubbling up. Playboy throws up. Kaylee tells him to return to the table and look through the bag. He finds some soda and water and gives them to the group. While throwing a can of soda to Mitch and Kaylee, Playboy's stomach suddenly hurts. He misses the throw, and Mitch almost falls into the sand while trying to catch it. He also accidentally knocks the railing loose. The wounds on Playboy's stomach burst, and he screams in agony. Kaylee tells him to stay on the table, and he obediently lies down on top of it. The monster pulls the surfboards away from the table, leaving Playboy stranded alone. While pointing to the direction of the safe zone, Kaylee notices the monster's tentacles puncturing the car's tires. When Fatty brings up the phones in the trunk, Ronnie volunteers to retrieve the phones. She asks Playgirl to deliver the letter she wrote in the notebook to her mom as she dies. With Playgirl's help to keep her steady, Ronnie tries to get the trunk open, but fails thrice. The trunk swings open too wide, and leaves Ronnie with no room to put her feet. Playgirl gets Ronnie to hold onto a towel, so that she has more room to maneuver. Meanwhile, Kaylee grabs a hook from the shack to help Ronnie lean further back. At the same time, the monster chews through another tire, causing the car to shake forward and Ronnie to lose her balance. Fortunately, Ronnie is safe and finally manages to get the trunk open. Suddenly, a beach patrol car arrives and honks at the group. This startles Ronnie and causes her to slip. She accidentally shuts the trunk and gets her fingers stuck. They inform the officer that there is something in the sand. However, the officer thinks that they are all high on drugs and doesn't believe them. He exits his car and steps on the sand. The monster tries to attack him, but his feet are protected by boots, and he is able to walk over to Playboy on the table. He walks over to Fatty and tries to get Fatty out of the barrel. Unable to lift Fatty, he resorts to insulting Fatty, for he's too greasy and heavy. Noticing that the officer is clearly not taking the situation seriously, Kaylee tells him to call his supervisor. Mitch tells the officer that two of their friends have already died, but the officer is stubborn and refuses to listen. He tells them to come down from the shack, but Kaylee and Mitch refuse. He pulls out his pepper spray to get them to comply, but accidentally drops it. When picking the spray up, the monster attacks his bare hand, and he gets stuck in the sand. The officer uses pepper spray on the sand. This causes the monster to release his arm. However, it's already too late, and the monster has already devoured half of his hormone let-go arm. When the officer pulls his arm out of the sand, only a bloody stump remains. He collapses onto the sand, and the monster devours him whole, without leaving a single trace of hormones. Kaylee picks up the pepper spray and returns to the safety of the shack. With the rescuer dead, Mitch decides to use slippers and some towels to cover his feet. The rest of the group try to stop him, but he is confident that he can run to the car fast enough. Playgirl grabs the towels from the car and throws one to him. Mitch catches it. Playgirl throws him another towel. But when he goes to catch it, the railing on the shack breaks, and he falls forward into the sand. While on the ground, the monster attacks his face, arms, and legs. Mitch cries out for help, but no one can help him. The monster's tentacles burst through his body, while the others can only watch helplessly. Mitch's body disappears into the sand, leaving only a person-shaped puddle of blood on the sand. Kaylee notices the monster trying to take away the fallen railing from the shack. She tells Playgirl to get on the hood of the car and grab the railing from the monster. Playgirl successfully grabs it. Kaylee pulls off the rest of the shack's railing and throws it all over to Playgirl. Kaylee jumps from the shack to the car. She punches Playgirl for sleeping with her boyfriend, but they quickly make amends. Kaylee tells Fatty to turn his muscles around and face them. Kaylee and Playgirl then pull Ronnie's hand loose from the trunk. As Ronnie screams in pain, they wrap her bloody hand in a towel. While looking out onto the beach, Playgirl admits that she is jealous of Kaylee and Playboy's relationship. The two talk for a quick moment before continuing with their plan. They use the shack railing as a thin bridge to the table. While Playgirl balances across the bridge, she tells Kaylee that she feels no regret over sleeping with her boyfriend. Kaylee tries to get Ronnie to pass through the bridge first, but Ronnie tells her that spilling blood onto the sand might be dangerous. Kaylee goes first and crosses over to the table. Ronnie goes next, but the blood from her hand drips down to the sand. Kaylee quickly sprays the sand with the hormone spray as Ronnie falls sideways to the sand. She is okay at first, but the monster eventually gets her and drags her down. Ronnie is dead. 
At the same time, Fatty gets a wound on his greasy stomach from the skinny barrel scraping against him. His fat and blood drip down the sides of the barrel. Playgirl tries to use Mitchie's method of covering up the feet with towels. She wraps her feet and successfully runs to the patrol car. Just as she makes it to the car, the sand below Fatty starts shaking, and he screams in pain. The monster has gotten to him through the bottom of the barrel. Some slightly skinny GPS tentacles emerge from the barrel and pull Fatty down into the sand. The tentacles reappear and shake the patrol car. This causes Playgirl to slip and hit her head on the hood, knocking her unconscious. Kaylee lies with her boyfriend, unable to do anything but wait for Playgirl to wake up. Night falls, and Playgirl finally wakes up. She climbs up the car and finds an inflatable raft. She throws it down onto the sand, and it inflates into a small boat. She jumps down onto the raft and helps Kaylee bring Playboy to the car. They successfully bring Playboy to the raft and into the car. Kaylee kisses Playboy, but a huge GPS tentacle emerges from the ground, causing Kaylee to fall out of the car. Kaylee quickly climbs up to the top of the car and grabs a gas canister from the back. The tentacle punctures the canister, spilling gasoline all over itself. She grabs another gas can and pours it all over the sand. She then grabs the matches from her pocket and lights the ground on fire. The tentacle also catches fire, and the monster thrashes wildly. Kaylee is finally able to enter the car. Tentacles try to open the door, but Kaylee manages to close it. After a few seconds, the tentacles all disappear, and it goes quiet outside. Inside the car, Playboy bleeds out and dies from his wounds. The two girls mourn his death. The next morning, a random surfer shows up on the beach and knocks on the car window. This wakes up Kaylee and Playgirl. They exit the car and walk freely over the sand. Together, they leave the beach. Meanwhile, the monster, far from being dead, swims silently under the surface of the ocean. It is heading over to a nearby beach that is densely populated, ready to feast on more humans foolish enough to step on its deadly sands. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.